Hello there, friends, and welcome back to the town of Lorien here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. We're here with Mayor Marilee, and she is on her way up to Main Street to look for a gift because today is Skye's birthday. If you'll remember the other day, she sent us an invitation to come to her party, so we have to go find a nice gift. I hope Nooks has something good. Let's take a look. What do you got today, Nooklings? I saw a hamster. <laughs> I saw a hamster in a cage. Do we think Sky is the kind that would like a hamster in a cage? <laughs> that seems a little strange for her. We'll go ahead and buy some wrapping paper. Uh, maybe we can find something nice in the in our storage that's a little more suited to Sky. I don't think that a hamster in a cage is going to be the thing for her. Um, so let's see. I do want to buy this though. A lucky gold cat. We'll take it. Ooh, it's kind of expensive, and I was going to pay a little bit on our loan, which we sh probably should go do before we get too much further. And look, Annalisa's visiting town today, and uh, turns out we're wearing the same shirt. It's so funny. Allie gave me this shirt just a little while ago this morning, and <laughs> I put it on, and I thought, oh, that's cute. We'll wear that today. And now look, here's Annalisa visiting, and we match. All right, let's go put a little bit of money on the loan. A little bit. Well, I did pay um, another 45,000 bells toward uh, Brewster's Cafe, and we still have quite a ways to go on that. Uh, I think we're just going to do, uh, let's get that 35,223 off there and make it an even 100,000 left to pay. So that'll, that'll leave us a little bit of bells to mess around with. Okay, so guys, another fun surprise. We have a friend. A new friend coming to visit Lorian for the first time and hopefully uh, they'll get to check in with Skye for her birthday too but we're gonna get our gate opened up so they can come over when they're ready let's see invite guests in would you like to invite guests from a faraway town yes we would yeah let's connect the gate is all open and they will be coming over when they're ready and um, that's uh, our newest channel member actually, Lou, will be coming over for a visit, which is super exciting. I just remembered we do have a few things in our pocket, lucky gold cat, LED display, would Sky like a painting set? Hmm, I don't want to go too far from the entrance until our friend gets here, but we might have to check into our storage. <laughs> Maybe we have a minute. Our house isn't too far. We'll just have to run for it if they get here. This is, yeah, you guys know me. I'm always running to catch up. <laughs> Trying to fit something in. Let's see, what do we have in here? HHA pennant, no. Our minimalist furniture. You know what? I think Sky would love a chihuahua. <laughs> wouldn't she? Maybe not. Ooh, how about a rocking chair? That's a good gift for her. That seems like a good gift for Skye. She seems like a nice calm uh, person that would like a rocking chair. I haven't, I, have we seen the inside of her house? I can't even think. All right, let's go ahead and wrap that. Is this the rocking chair? Yes, it is. Ooh, you know what else, guys? Oh, <laughs> we have to actually tell that we want to wrap it. Hello. Wrap the rocking chair. Confirm. So another thing we're going to do today, because I got some fossils assessed earlier, and one of them was a saber-toothed torso. And somewhere in our storage, we have a saber-toothed skull. So we're going to go grab that at some point and take it over to Cyrus uh, and have him make us a little dinosaur bone model. Our first one, it's gonna be so exciting. And I picked the saber tooth. I've been waiting for the torso. I picked the saber tooth because like one of our first days in this town, we were digging up fossils and took them to Blathers and literally three of the four of them were saber tooth skulls. And so we, so we decided that this must have been an old saber tooth stomping grounds and uh, we should definitely get a saber tooth model. So we finally got the torso. 
or I should say I finally remembered to be checking the fossils that we got back and we got <laughs> the torso so we'll be able to get that model now and while we're talking to Cyrus we actually have um, our other gold item to pick up as we had him make one for us in the last episode and forgot to go back and get it at the end so it's still sitting there I've left it so you guys can pick it up with me super exciting and here they come! Yay! Someone's here! <laughs> the train is here! Hooray! Mayumba from Zambia! That's a fun name. Uh, town name. Let's see, we gotta say hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, gifts! Oh my goodness! Um, let's see, wait, we can do a... <laughs> uh, we better say thank you. Wow! Thank you! Oops! Thank you! Ah, this part is so delayed! <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's see what they brought. We we are in a bad habit usually. Oh, I hope I have enough pocket space. Let's see. Oh, we got to get out of the letter thing first. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, we have space. We have space. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh no! You know what? I think I just unwrapped Sky's gift. Oh my goodness! How silly. I should have remembered that we had a wrapped. <gasps> A rose sofa? No way! No way, no way! Oh my goodness, way too nice. Two of them! Oh my goodness. Lou, you are too much. <laughs> All right, perfect oranges, very nice. Princess closet, love it. Oh my goodness, how generous. A princess lamp too. Wow, those are some expensive items too. Okay, we gotta say, th <laughs> we gotta say thank you. Let me get back to here. That's so awesome. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I didn't think we'd ever be able to get the rose sofa because of how you have to get it. And that is that is just, that is too generous. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, let me put them in my house. Let me set them in house. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we want to set these down. Set these down in the house. Super fun. This is also going to be <laughs> super fun to edit later. Okay, uh, let's let's close this up and see what this. Wow, oh, it's a pretty white one. Let's see what color the other one is. Ooh, red, oh my goodness, that's so... I have no words. I love that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll put this princess closet down too. Since we're putting stuff down, I'm just gonna move it back here. We'll just go ahead. I did pick some things up, so we have room to set things down again, which is nice. Oh wait, that is not where I wanted you to go. Oh my goodness, I'm always picking up the wrong thing. Okay, let's see if we can get this lamp to go where I wanted it. If I can find it again. Okay, there we go. I put our little bonsai back. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. We'll get this cat out of our pocket too. Okay, that was so so nice and super generous. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop saying that now. <laughs> 
Oh, let's go grab another wrapping taper though before we get going again. Since I accidentally unwrapped Sky's gift. Uh, oh yeah, wrapping paper, here it is. Looks like they found our new villager. I, I haven't got to telling you guys about that one yet. Uh, yeah, we have a new villager move in. Took um, Pietro's place, but not Pietro's space. I'm actually a little mad about where they moved in, to be honest. Uh, a little, little bit grumpy about it. So here is our town hall. And the new villager moved in like right here in front of town hall. Not cool at all. And it's Tutu by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> so we'll go in and say hi to Tutu while our friend is meeting our other villagers. There she is. If you come back tomorrow, this place will be totally amazing, I promise, Twinkles. But it will not be in a totally amazing place, Tutu, which you're you're hurting my feelings here with the replacement. Okay, so they ask how our town was coming along. Good, I think. Dressed up. the plaza a bit more. We got some new patterns and I put this little gray flowery stone one around our purple around the tree and I love it so much I think it looks so cute and pretty and I, I think I stuck this pattern a couple other places but we did get a couple new patterns we got this gray one with the flowers and we got these two wood plank paths to the left of it there which I kind of want to um, create like a little basket weave situation in in a couple places if we can um, so that replaced the lead the uh, Triforce symbol that we had so it looks much nicer around town with the places we've marked for some public works projects um, but we do need to go see Sky. I don't have patience with paths. Oh, yeah, well, you know, they're not for everyone. It does take a long time to lay them down. Um, oh, this is Sky's house. We're getting ready to go in and give her her birthday present. So we're gonna... I guess they've already... They've already said happy birthday to Sky. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there now and see her. It is always fun to visit someone else's town. Uh, it's it's totally different than seeing it in a video. So I can just tell you from from the visits that I've done, it's it's just fun. I was just thinking about how nice it'd be to see you. Wait a minute! I thought it was Sky's birthday today, the twenty fourth. It's the twenty fourth, right? It's no surprise that Cole and Ward Jr. are really good friends. I feel like they bring out the best in each other. Wait a minute. I swear it said it was her birthday. Was there a time on the invitation? Okay, hold on. I'm confused now. <laughs> Is it because we have a visitor? Hold on. I think it's still in our pocket. I think I kept it. That's from Gulliver. Oh, maybe I didn't keep it. Oh no. Okay, well, what did we get from Gulliver? We'll check that out later. We also forgot in the letter to ourselves from last week, we um, we read the letter and totally forgot to look at the item that was inside. So <laughs> we need to make sure that we do that too. And I have been trying to start move moving flowers around. I got a couple bushes planted in this little section. I was going to put another bit of orchard here, but now I'm having second thoughts about that because it's kind of out front here. I did plant some trees here. I planted lychee trees and lemon trees. And there's going to be some mango tree trees in between as soon as I can get back to Tortimer's Island and get some more mangoes. Because if you'll remember, we put the cafe down on top of all our mango trees and destroyed them on accident 
wasn't thinking. But um, we actually need to plant a couple more lemon trees over next to the roost as well, where that's going in. But I'm going to drop these perfect oranges that a friend brought here, because this is kind of just where I'm keeping all of our fruit that we need to plant. Uh, we have some more pears that we're going to plant and these durians somewhere, so... Oh yes. There's probably not much, because... Our shops are so small. <laughs> but you're welcome to get anything you like. Oh, and we already bought that gold cat. I should have thought about it and left it there. Okay, so we can take these lemons. Yeah, let's take these lemons over. And we're gonna put them... Oh, we got another pink lily! Hooray! I love it so much. Ooh, guys, um, we got an orange lily too, but it's down on the beach. And we also got a blue pansy, which I'm super excited about because we needed a blue pansy in order to make purple pansies. So I put that down on the beach too, a situation to try to make some uh, purple pansies if we can. Okay, so we're going to plant a lemon here. berry one and I added this little flower pattern leading up to the roost too because I thought that would be super cute and we're going to bury one here and I knew I only had two left so we are actually going to get rid of this lychee tree here and replace that with a lemon so that we have four little lemon trees right outside the roost I thought that would be super cute for some reason. I don't know. We may change it at some point, but for right now, uh, trees is what I have the most of. Bushes, I do not have very many of, so we actually need to chop down this pear tree too because it's totally in the path. <laughs> Alright, I did water those flowers. There's Harry running around. Okay, so let's just run down to the beach really quick so I can... Oh, and I put some of this little path outside of um, Reese's place too. Super fun. All right, so was it down here? I think I planted the pansies over here. Yeah, a blue one and an orange one. So we're gonna water those. And hopefully at some point they will decide to make a purple pansy. <laughs> at least that's, that's what I read online. That's how you get them. So I was like, oh man, how are we ever gonna get a blue pansy? And then I came in yesterday and these white pansies over here around Reese's had made a blue pansy all on their own so I was super excited about that okay let's go see how our friend is doing uh, we haven't been to their town yet hopefully we'll be able to do that soon but from the items they brought us I'm I'm guessing that they're quite a bit more developed than we are I still think it's so funny that we match Annalisa up here Look out over the ocean. I love that view. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Um, I don't know. Mostly we've been visiting dream addresses and you can't go up to Main Street in a dream address. So I don't know if people think to visit the museum exhibit rooms when they come. But we do have some stuff. Uh, in the exhibit rooms. We have three of them open now with stuff in there, so I don't know. It's it's a little bit jumbled. It might not be anything fun to look at, but it could be. Oh, no, we forgot something. Yeah, as long as we're going to run into retail, we might as well go and get our saber tooth skull so we can talk to Cyrus about getting that made. Hopefully he'll let us do it when we have a visitor here. I love the purple roof on the house, by the way. I think that was a good choice. And look at these little rose chairs. I just love them so much. <laughs> that was such a nice gift. And no, I am not gonna get over it. <laughs> okay, let's um, try to find our skull real quick before we answer. There it is, saber tooth skull. Let's see. Okay, yes, best friend. How do we 
Let me remember how to do that. Um, how do we do that? Oh my goodness, I don't remember how. Is it this? <laughs> Here we go. Yes, okay. Okay, perfect. Whew. We don't get to do that very often and we won't get to do it very many more times, will we? So yeah, let's see if they went to look at... Does Roost location show on the map? It's where Lloyd is. Have I seen Allie? Um, oh, is she home? Hmm. Let's look for Allie. She was around earlier today because she's the one that gave us this shirt. So she must be around somewhere. <laughs> Wait, okay, let me just double check. Yeah, 324, Sunday in the game. I Is their birthday party a certain time of day or something? I I'm lost about that birthday party. I swear it was Sky's birthday today cuz we said next Sunday is her birthday. I remember this. <laughs> I remember saying this. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's because of the visitor. We'll have to check again after after they've left. Bob, what are you doing, man? Let's see if he says anything about the visitor. Hey there, look at us bumping into each other again. So anyway, what's up? Did you invite any friends over? I sure hope so. Visitors are fun. Yes, they are. Well then, we can chat later. I don't want to keep anyone waiting. You're so thoughtful, Bob. Okay, do we see Allie anywhere? The villagers can be down on the beach. You displayed them nicely. Oh, they must be in our house. Yeah, we'll have to rearrange some things later, but um... For now, <laughs> we just made some space for him. I wish we have the little had the little heart over the head. Wait, is were they talking about the chairs? What were they talking? Oh yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> That's so fun. They're so perfect. Uh, let's say, love them. Oops. <laughs> we'll do a little dance. <laughs> so excited. That was such a nice gift. Oh, can we take a picture? We can. <laughs> okay, this is super fun. Years ago, right? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Super fun. It's so fun having visitors. Oh, we might be getting an offer to visit back. We have time. That would be super fun. We can go see what their town looks like too and be super impressed. <laughs> cool. Well, this episode is definitely turning out to be um, <laughs> not what I originally planned. So we'll let them go on the train. We'll check in with Skye. Whoops. In... A few. Hey, they got a butterfly. Nice. So yeah, we'll let them run home and um, we'll check in with Skye and see if her birthday is going on when there's no visitor in town. And we never did find Allie, did we? Maybe next time. 
I love that we're getting mushrooms around these stumps. There was a mushroom around one of those other stumps in the path, too. Okay, so they are on their way home. Super exciting. And it's fun to uh, run into another person who doesn't name their character their own name. <laughs> Because aside from New Horizons, that's not something that I normally do. Thanks for having me round. Loved visiting you in Lorien and hope we can do it again. Of course. We, we only have a little bit of time left, but we'll definitely fit in as many visits as we can. Oh, look. Deirdre's checking it out, too. She's reading the board. <laughs> She's reading the note. Okay, we're going to close the gate just to check on Sky, And then we'll go back. I wish we had, uh, I wish we had a nice gift to take. We'll have to kind of get a feel for what they have in their town and uh, make sure we take them a gift next time. Next time we visit. Okay, so uh, let's, the gate is closed. Let's go see if Skye is doing her birthday now. Did we wrap her gift again? We did not, did we? Is this the rocking chair? Okay. Wrap the rocking chair. Okay, their gate is open, so we're going to head over just as soon as we check in with Skye. And it is her birthday. Okay, so it was just because of the visitor. That's so crazy. I thought maybe our visitor could do the birthday too, but I guess not. Yay, you came to celebrate with me. I'm so glad you're here, Marilee. I'm so happy to spend my birthday with my friends. I've also received some lovely birthday presents. This is from me. Yay, I'll open it right away. Oh, a rocking chair. I don't normally buy things like this for myself, so it's a lovely gift. This is just what I expected from you, Marilee. Thank you for such a great gift. Oh, you're welcome, Sky. Happy birthday. That's super cute. All right, we're going to try to grab a quick picture here if she'll turn around. Turn around, Sky. There we go. Happy birthday. All right, we'll catch you. We'll catch you later. We're going for a visit. Okay, so we've been caught unprepared <laughs> with the gift situation, but we will definitely take one next time we visit. All right, let's head to the train station and get on over to, what was it, Zambia? Let's check it out. Visit another town. Far away. Okay, here's our list of available towns. There it is. Let's go. I'm excited that we get to visit another town. Probably should have emptied my pockets a little bit. <laughs> we have a little bit of room. Oh, I should have asked if there was any fruit they needed or anything. So unprepared. <laughs> All right, yay, we've arrived in another town. Welcome to Zambia. Hooray, oh, gold roses right off. Yep, this is gonna be way nicer than our town. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Super fun. Wow, this is amazing. Black roses and gold roses and surrounded by perfect oranges. Let's see. Beautiful already. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um <laughs> we'll just take a look around then. I don't know if they're going to come with us or um, I'm assuming there's a path out of here somewhere. There's bushes over here. Do we have to go this way? Uh, oh, here we go. Right into a fountain with some white and blue violets. 
So yeah, lots of hybrid flowers we see already and a windmill and a fountain. Oh my goodness, beautiful already. You guys, we have so much work to do. <laughs> Got a little scarecrow over here. Oh, and this little station place that we saw in uh, one of the dream towns we went to. Oh, flowers. Off the beach. Oh, okay. Well, we may. Oh, look at this, a pyramid. This is cool. Okay, the flowers on the beach are all extra. Okay, I wonder what they're building here. It's a little tiny public works project. Going in next to the pyramid here, we've got the, the tiki torches burning. So whose house is this then with a pyramid next to it? Tangy's house. So they have Tangy too. <laughs> she is a popular one. Okay, let's take a look around. Oh my goodness, look at all those flowers on the beach. See, I knew we were going to need pocket space for something. All right, here is the police station over here on this little corner. Very nice. They have all their little projects lined up so nicely here. And, and with the matchy-matchy flowers around. A little campsite right on the river. So nice. Uh, let's, okay, so I'm looking at the map. We're gonna, we're gonna check out this top half first. Looks like we're heading down to the roost. And this is what, yeah, this is what we have to work on too. It's like getting all our trees strategically placed. And they kind of have <laughs> the roost hemmed in here with these trees. And these pansies, super cute. Yeah, we, we, we have a lot of tree moving and flower moving to do. Oh, and look, here's a rose arch. Okay, so this is the entrance to the train station. We just didn't see that from where we were up there before. Very nice. And true to their word, there is no path. <laughs> but you know what? It, it works because they have everything so nicely lined up. Look at these little holly bushes and bamboo with the roses all around. We've got a little orchard back here. This is very similar. Wait a minute, is this kind of... This layout is very similar to our town, I think. I'm looking at it. It's, it's very similar. The plaza's in a little bit of a different spot, but Flora's house. Oh, Flora's such a cutie. And look at all those pink flowers around. Perfect for her. Yeah, this is really nice. I like the way they've made these little uh, these little sections with the bushes and the bamboo. Very cute. Okay, whoop. <laughs> Speaking of bushes, they're in between all the trees here. Okay, so here here's their house. We will come back and check that out um, in a few minutes. But I wanna I wanna look around outside some more before we do. Here's another house. With blue and, blue and white around. Whose house is this then? Kyle's house. Oh, that's nice for Kyle. And they have all their little cute, cute little squares of flowers here and there. That probably is a good way to get more hybrids too. Who do we have here? Punchy. Oh, I love Punchy. Is he home? He's not home. We're going to have to look for Punchy. I definitely want to talk to him. I hope we don't accidentally steal him or something. <laughs> Bianca's house. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is... I mean, look how nice the houses look with the flowers all around. Gladys's house. Oh, and here's the little reset center next to Gladys's house. Um, kind of up here in the corner. And they've got retail right up here in the corner. And look at that. Perfect town situation. Look at all those lily of the valley. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I keep forgetting that we're not in a <laughs> that we're not in a dream and we can uh, we can actually go in the buildings and stuff. We can do it back. Yay, let's go look in here and see what there is. Maybe something cool. Like a ranch cabinet. <laughs> That's really neat. Oh, there's a painting in here too. And a little train set. Really cool. Oh, somebody's getting their striped TV customized. We, we gotta remember to go pick up our gold item when we get back too. 
This ranch cabinet is super cute. Let me look at it. A ranch hutch. 1,200 bells. Do we want to buy it? We, be we better, we don't have too many bells in our pocket, so we better wait a minute until we go up to the main street, because we can actually do that this time. But yeah, this is so cool. They've definitely done so much work in this town. Look at the little lemon trees. Super cute. So everything's so lined up. <laughs> nice. And some more black and gold roses here around the town hall. And they have this, I believe this is customized. The building looks similar, but the colors are different. So I think that is customized. And lots of little groups of flowers around. Oh, and look at the little stumps. Butterflies and hearts with the lighted up heart. And it is starting to get sunset because uh, we're, we're in a different time zone than our own. So they're starting to get sunset here, which is just lovely. Let's talk to Bianca. I seriously feel like I've known you forever. Maybe we met in another life. By the way, I'm Bianca. You're Merrily from Lorien, right? You may not realize it, but you just met the most famous star in town. Um, I'm talking about me? Let's totally schedule a play date sometime soon, okay? I can tell you and I are going to have fun together. <laughs> Peppy villagers are so fun. <gasps> Look at this little toadstool mushroom. That's super cute. I hope we get one of those around one of our stumps. Super fun. Oh, look at this little spot. Let's sit and look out at the ocean. I love the pink cosmos too. So cute. We're definitely going to have to work on um, strategically placing some of these stumps around Lorien as well. I like that. And these, uh, you know, that's good for hitting the rock and kind of keeping stuff away from it. It is kind of a good idea not to have path, to be honest, because... Um, you know, having path everywhere limits where balloon presents can drop and where uh, stuff can come fall out of the rocks and everything. We've already run into that problem once. <laughs> so, um, whose van is this? Have we seen that van yet? Let's see what Harv has over here. Nothing we need today. Whose van is this? I don't know whose this is. Oh, Booker! Yeah, we definitely haven't seen this one yet. Look at him in his little overalls. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, did you have this spot reserved or something? Sorry. I guess you probably only get Booker after you've got a police station in town. And look at his wall. His little mountain wall is so cute. What adorable little... <laughs> Let's just see what furniture he has in case we need something. I do like that Meadow Vista. But we don't even have any rooms to put stuff in any anywhere right now, so... We need to work on that. All right, super cute. Well, that was fun getting to see a camper we haven't seen before. <laughs> Did you see him do that little salute when we left? That was too cute. Okay, let's keep going. We've got a little bit more to explore outside before we go and take a look at their house. And here is their tree and look at it, nice and big. Okay, so yeah, they've definitely played this for a while. Long time. Oh, purple tulips too. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go peek at the beach. We might cheat a little bit <laughs> on the hybrid flower situation. Oh, I love this little picnic too. And the colors of the roses around it, just perfect. That is so cute. And guys, look at this with the sunset in the background. This is just... I'm taking a picture. <laughs> that is so pretty. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, got a new lily of the valley there. And we've got a little street light out here and the flower clock. I love that item. I hope we'll be able to earn it still. We've got the lighthouse here with matching flowers, of course. Just lovely. And I love that it's starting to get dark so we can see stuff like that with the light on. Okay. Oh, and the little flower beds with the trees lining. Oh, this is so cute. And a little bench at the end. I love this. I love this whole idea here. Oh my goodness. So cute. Might be stealing this. <laughs> okay, so let's go just take a quick look. How much pocket space do we have? We have like five spaces. Can we stick anything else in letters? Not much. Okay, so we have six. We can, we can get six flowers. Who is this? Is this Genji? No, this is Tiffany. 
Hey there, I'm Tiffany. What's your name? Marilee? Good to meet you, Marilee. And you're from Lorien? How cool! I've always wanted to visit there, Bun Bun. If you're ready for adventure, Zambia is the town for you. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> okay, so let's go, yeah, let's go down here and take a look at the beach. Okay. Heading down there now. Oh, somebody's been diving. <laughs> um, we already have the purple. Let's see if there's any that we don't have. Oh, there's one pink Cosmo. Can we take that? I feel bad taking the only pink Cosmo down here. But they did say the ones on the beach were extra, so we're totally stealing it. <laughs> we're, well, it's not stealing. They said we could have it, so... Um, I guess we'll go and check the other beach, too, just in case they have some more down there. And then, um, and then we'll run to the house. I don't want to run, because I don't want to ruin their grass. So we're just going to take a nice leisurely walk. Maybe we'll run into some more villagers. Haven't seen you before. Are you an out-of-town visitor? I'm Tammy. Just Tammy. No title necessary. And look, Tammy is also wearing the same shirt as us. <laughs> Everyone here is just dying to talk to you, Ms. World Traveler. You should chat them up. Yeah, we would love to find Punchy. I want to talk to Punchy. He's one of my favorites. He lives in our city folk town. Mirkwood. He's such a little cutie. All right, let's just take a quick look down here. Oh, yeah. Tons of fun flowers. Okay, we're not going to take purple pansies because we are trying to make those ourselves. So let's just look a little bit. And not really in for... I might take one of these purple roses. Um, I don't really end up using black flowers very much. Wow, so much. <laughs> so many flowers down here. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that will probably do it. We might take a pink rose too, because I don't think we've got one of those yet. But um, yes, thank you so much for sharing your extra flowers. That's so nice. All right, so let's go check out the house now. Oh, look at the little stars coming out of Kyle's chimney. So cute. All right, we'll check out the house and then we'll see. Um, whoops, we want to make sure we sign their board too. Okay, I forgot that they have like bushes in between all the trees everywhere. Okay, so we got a cute little pink house here with a white picket fence and a nice yellow roof surrounded by pink and white roses very cute i have not seen this um house color option before so that's that's a new one for me let's go take a peek inside ah somebody bought turnips <laughs> i almost bought turnips this morning but you know what oh it's tuesday in their game um joan was selling them for 110 and that's like too much We'll just let them know we're checking out the house. Okay, and they've got the princess furniture set in here. Very nice. Oh, Eloise's picture. Super cute. I love the um, the clock that, that comes with the set. <laughs> Ignore the turnips. Yep, that's cool. You gotta keep them somewhere, man. Um... Yeah, the clock that comes with the princess set in this uh, in this version because that is not part of the set in the city folk version. And of course they've got the princess dress here with the crown on and a wedding cake, which is super cool. Very nice. Oh, that's a pretty little plant too. What is that? Is that Lily of the Valley? Is that what Lily of the Valley looks like when you put it inside? I've seen that inside in some of the dream addresses, but I wasn't sure which type of flower it is. Okay, we've got the gorgeous furniture, Gracie Grace. So yeah, somebody has put some work in and made some bells in this town for sure, because this is an expensive set. Um, the lighting in this room is really cool. They've got like an oriental lamp up there. They've got the gold house trophy, which I'm not sure what all you have to do to win that thing. I've seen <laughs> I've seen it a few times around, but um, I, we're nowhere close. I think the, the best thing we have so far is the little pennant that goes on the wall. So we have a long way to go. What is this little thing? I have no idea what this is. It's got like a geisha girl on it. 
I wonder if that's a Gulliver item. Let me know which room is your favorite. Okay, we certainly will. Will do. Okay, so I like the gorgeous furniture, uh, but so far out of the two rooms we've seen, I have to go with the princess room. Let's see what's back here. Oh, alpine furniture. I love the alpine furniture. So wait a minute, is this the floor that goes with the alpine set? I don't know that we've seen it yet, but it does kind of match. I'm not sure. Okay, so the, look at all the pieces we haven't got yet. I think we actually have got this cabinet. We don't have the bed yet. We don't have, wait, let's go this way. Whatever this little cabinet is, we don't have yet. We don't have the chair yet. I think we did get the table. We um, cataloged that when Sassy Granny came to visit. And what do we have on this mannequin here? Like a little trench coat situation and some boots. <laughs> That's super cute. Okay, yeah, I love this room because this wallpaper is just so pretty and this set is just so nice. Very nice. More turnips. Okay, hmm, that's going to be a hard decision between that room and the princess room. I might be a little biased toward the uh, alpine furniture. Okay, this room is literally just turnips. <laughs> oh no, I hope they get a, a good turnip price. It is only Tuesday in their game, so they still have a chance. This is a really pretty wall too, though. I have not seen this one yet. But yeah, no furnishings in here, just turnips. Okay, I wonder how much it's going to cost us to get all these rooms and then and then get them expanded. Oh, look, Rudy's picture. Oh, I love Rudy. He's such a sweetheart. We have him um, on my forever island of New Horizons. He lives there. <laughs> and that is Tipper, I think? I think that's Tipper. And we have the cabana furniture in this room, which is really nice, too. Not my personal favorite. Oh, look at the little sandcastle. Super cute. And I love that they brought in the little bird in the cage, too. And what is that up on the wall? Like a little TV? There's such cool wall items in this game. Oh, we've got a little cherry blossom lamp over here, too. That's a fun addition. And a little... Is that a turtle? We've got a little turtle hanging out over here. Super cute. Little pet turtle. <laughs> oh, let's go back up. Okay, one more room to check out before we decide our favorite. Ah, the this is the modern wood furniture, I think. Not a hundred percent sure. I love that little desk though. That's super cute. And they have these rooms arranged so nicely. And I love that with that modern wood wall. And the way they've put the two beds together there to make a big one. And another picture of Rudy. <laughs> and we've got Kyle over here. Oh, and look at that little clock. That is super cute. I haven't seen that yet either. Oh my goodness. And that, um, that floor goes nice with it too. I don't think that is part of the set. But Oh, oh what is this? A little modern wood TV? Adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, yeah. Some nice, clean, um, non-cluttered rooms, unlike our room. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to let them know. We're going to let them know. This Gracie Grace room is really nice, but um, I have to say that our favorite is the Alpine Furniture Room. Let's see. Can we put a little heart on there? I think there's a little heart. No little heart? Well, we'll put a star then. <laughs> okay. That's so great. All right, we're going to look around a little bit more. Um, let's see if they know where Punchy is. Because I would love to talk to Punchy. But he wasn't home. There's Tammy again. Whose house is this one? Tangy. Okay, we don't need to talk to Tangy. We have Tangy. <laughs> oh, in Rudy's house. Let's talk to Rudy. Okay. Well, they haven't seen Punchy either. No way! Rudy's wearing the same shirt as us, too. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to Rudy. He has the little uh, car racing thing in his house in New Horizons as well. How, or, or maybe it's the train set. 
now I can't remember. Howdy, you are. Wait, who are you? Oh, I see. You're Mary Lee, and you're here visiting from Lorian. Nice. I'm Rudy. Hope we can be buddies. Of course we can, Rudy. I mean, we're wearing the same shirt. Look at that cool uh, radio that he has. I haven't seen that yet either. There are so many things in this game, you guys. <laughs> oh, he's got some some other wardrobe cho choices around here. And I think this is the same wall that he has in New Horizons as well. But um, definitely a different kind of setup. Oh, yeah. We definitely want a picture. Let's see. Where should we go? I, I love that the sun is setting. By the tree. Oh, by the tree. Okay. So let's close this so we can see the map and find out where we're going again. Uh, and we'll come down here to the plaza area and get a cute picture. Let's put away our little wand for now. And actually, um, I'm, I might ask if we can... Wait, are we supposed to follow? Whoops. Oh, here we go. That is going to be a cute picture. Okay. Wait a minute. Can we get rid of this clock? Yeah, there we go. So cute. <laughs> oh, wait. Can we do that too? <laughs> I love being able to do the emotions now. That's so fun. Um, the only other one we can do is laugh. <laughs> there we go. That's so fun. This is a super fun visit. I love being able to visit new towns. So guys, I'm actually going to... Um, I'm actually going to say goodbye for the episode here because we're probably just going to run up to the main street and, and uh, finish up our visit. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. And special thanks to Lou for having us over for a visit to your New Leaf town while we still have a chance. That's so amazing. Do click the like button if you don't mind. And if you enjoy nostalgic games like this one, be sure to click subscribe so you can join us for the next episode. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day. Okay, guys, I had to turn the recording back on for just a second because I found Punchy. <laughs> He's in Nooks. Someone I don't know. I guess that means you're here visiting. Awesome. I made friends with someone from another town. And look, Punchy is also wearing the same shirt as us. It feels super worldly now. That is so cute. Oh my goodness.